All right, it's Jen Watley Nelson here, and we're going to show you how to find and claim a Google listing. So I'm actually going to do this for a good friend of mine who's an Allstate insurance agent. Her name is Shelby Mobley, and she recently moved her office. So the first thing I'm going to do is Google Cedar Grove insurance agent C and see her new town is Cedar Grove, see if she comes up in the Google rankings. So actually her Allstate page is coming up, which is great, but she's not coming up in the Google Maps here, and we want to make sure that she's here as well. So what we need to do is find her Google listing. So I bet you if I Google her name, Shelby Mobley, I'll find it. Okay, and I actually see two listings for her. One is her uh, old listing and one is her new listing. We'll have to take care of claiming and getting rid of her old listing as well, but for now let's focus on claiming the new one. Um, so I'm going to click here on her Google Plus page. Okay, and there is some stuff in here. Um, if you're a captive agent, you may have some stuff like a logo here, but you see it's not showing very well. Um, sometimes the companies that you are associated with will do some optimization here for you, but you want to get in here and make sure it's done properly. So if you come down here at the bottom, it says, is this your business? So you want to click on manage this page. Okay. So in order to do this, you have to have a Google account. And with a Google account, you get everything. You get their social network, Google+, Plus, where the business listings are actually part of the social network. You get access to Gmail if you want to use it. You get a, a Google Calendar if you want to use it, but you do have to have an account. So I'm going to make a new account for her. Uh, her name is Shelby Mobley. Oops. And for her username, it's never a bad idea uh, to put keywords in here. So I'm going to say Cedar Grove Insurance and see if that's available. I'm going to choose a password. Oops. Okay, once I've typed everything in, we'll go next. Okay, the next thing to do would be to add a photo. I'm actually, oops, sorry, going to do that. And I have a photo on my computer that I downloaded for her, so I'm going to find that. Here's her headshot. And it's giving me an error. Okay, I tried again. It looks like that's working. So it's going to ask us to uh, crop the photo. So I'm going to set that as the profile photo. And there she is. Now we'll go to the next step. Okay, new, the new email address is Cedar Grove Insurance at Gmail. And we're going to click here to go back to Google Places. We have to agree to their terms and conditions. And uh, we have to find our listing that we're trying to claim again now that we're all signed in. So I'm going to search for Shelby Mobley again because that's how we found it the first time. And it's this one, the Cedar Grove one that we're actually trying to claim. So yes, we want to click on that. This is our business. Okay, Google requires you to verify that you actually own the business. So what it's going to do is it's going to send you a postcard with a code in it that you're going to have to put in to verify that you own the business. So it's going to the business address that's on file. You have to receive it and put in that code in order to claim your, your listing. So we're going to send her the postcard. And she is going to get that pin and call me. 
and we'll, I'll show her how to put that in. But in the meantime, we can still look at our listing and see what other information we need to put in here. So there's a business name that it's not letting us edit right now because we haven't verified, but there's contact information, the website. We would probably want to take out her Allstate website and put in her, um, her own website. The categories we can edit. Um, find all of the insurance rated insurance related categories insurance agency um, we can edit this save um, add another category insurance uh, how about we do auto insurance agency add another category and you can go home insurance agency uh, life insurance and so forth whatever your top lines of business are you would want to add them there uh, your hours of operation photos always put as many photos as you can here um, you want to put your logo maybe a, a photo of the front of your business um, and as many photos as you have you want to put as many as they'll let you and you want to write a short description of your business which I will get from her and we'll put in there and that is how you complete the Google listing and again, you have to wait for that PIN number to come. And once the PIN number comes, you'll click here, you'll log into your account, you'll click here to enter the PIN, and you'll be good to go. That's it on how to claim your Google Plus Local listing.